Bacurau is a 2019 Brazilian film from directors Kleber Mendonça Filho and Juliano Dornelles with dialogue in both Portuguese and English. The film is set a few years in the future and in a small rural Brazilian village that inexplicably disappears off maps and loses connection to the outside world. Despite being set in the future, technology doesn't play a large role and the science fiction elements are minimal. It's hard to explain much more about the plot or why this is happening without spoilers, as the audience doesn't really figure out what's going on until about an hour in. Once we do get an explanation, it comes suddenly and results in a significant shift in tone for the remainder of the runtime. Bakurao also takes a turn towards being decently gory and disturbing, and this includes violence against children and animals. The violence makes it partly a genre film, but I don't know that I'd recommend it for people just looking for a genre film, as it also contains strong art house elements. Furthermore, it's a bit of a slow build and it's unclear where it's going at first, so Baccarat does reward patience. And the runtime is slightly long at 2 hours and 12 minutes. Having said that, it is an entertaining film, especially in the more intense second half. There's also some dark humor at moments that works well. The film has very clear influences from the western genre, so much so that the director even called it, quote, for all practical purposes a western. However, it's certainly not a traditional one, and feels much more like an example of what's called an acid western like Alejandro Jodorowsky's El Topo. The directors also cited filmmakers like Sergio Leone, who made The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, and Sam Peckinpah, who directed Bring Me the Head of Alfredo Garcia. Stylistically, Baccarat has some odd touches, like old-fashioned wipes, both horizontal and vertical. The acting is overall good, but nothing particularly amazing. I especially liked the villagers who came off as quite natural. The only actor I recognized was Udo Kier, a German actor who has worked with acclaimed directors Lars von Trier, Werner Herzog, and Uwe Boll. He's awesome as always, and of course plays a villain. Overall, I like this a lot, and give it an 8 out of 10. I doubt that I'll ever have a burning desire to rewatch it or consider it one of my favorites, but I'm definitely glad I watched it. Bakurao has gotten a great reception from critics with an 88% on Rotten Tomatoes, and it even won the jury prize at Cannes. That's all for this review. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe.